Yo guys, next here. Welcome back to another video. So, using this private server called Carbon, you can actually go back to later versions of Chapter 2 and even watch events. One of which is the Chapter 2 end event, which I'll be showing you how to set up in this video. Anyway, let's get started. So the first thing you're going to need to do is to get these two downloads. One of them in the description is going to be called .NET and the other one is going to be called Node. So you're just going to want to double click on one of them. It doesn't matter which one you click first and install both of them. This one just finished. Time to move on with the next one. Click next. Accept the licensing terms. Click next. On everything and then click install. Now we just click finish. I'll leave all of these things by name in the description below. So all you're going to need to do is download each of them. The first thing you're going to want to set up is Python right here. So just double click it. The reason you're going to want this is because you're going to want to be able to run easy installer. Sometimes you don't need it, but just to make sure easy installer runs, we're going to want it. Once it's done, you can click close. Now you're going to want to get the Neonite v2 main and extract it either by clicking extract all or by just dragging it onto your desktop right here. Once that's done, you can delete the zip file, open the folder, and then click install.bat. It's going to run a program, then it's going to be done. You can exit out of it. Then you're going to want to go to managers. Where it says api.js, you're going to want to click it, right click, open with notepad or wordpad, whatever you want. Then click control F and look up the word keychain. Find next. Then you're going to find it. Now we're going to need to get a link. In order to get it, you're going to want to go to the Neonite Mods Discord server and scroll down to Chapter 2 End Event. Depending on when you watch this, there might be two of them, but click on the last one. Right here, you're going to want to copy the blue link. Make sure not to copy anything else. And where it says Keychain, find the link right here. It's going to probably look different for you. Once you're here, click Control V. And then you can click X, Save. And we don't have to worry about that anymore. And since you're here, you're going to want to download the cranium.dll. Click keep and then put it somewhere you remember it. Now extract carbon main, delete the zip file. So right here, it's probably going to look slightly different for you, but you're going to want to click the carbon launcher.exe and it's going to put some stuff up for you. And once you see this, you're going to want to click X and then click X again. And then you'll see the carbon.config right here. For now, we don't worry about this. The last thing you're going to want to download is UUU Injector. Again, I'll leave the mega link right here in the description. You can just download it, create a folder for it, call it whatever you want. Now you can delete the zip file. And now you just need to download one more thing and then we're basically good. Now that we've almost gotten everything set up, double click on easy installer and you're going to see all this stuff. Type in D, then enter in that file with the jumbled letters. Drag it inside of Easy Installer, enter, and then where it says to make a game folder location, right click wherever you want, click folder, call it 18.40, double click it, and right here, copy the file path, control V, then enter. Depending on your internet, this might take a while or it might not. but Right here where it says ETA is going to tell you how long it's going to take and when it's done you're going to know because it's going to completely stop and say that you can leave. With that all done, you can delete this file right here. And now we've gotten everything downloaded. All you're going to need to do is to put it all together. So now open Neonite v2 main, click the run.bat. Every time you start the server, you're going to want this open. So just minimize it, close this file. Now we don't have to worry about this right now. You don't need to worry about easy installer either. Now open up carbon main. Where it says carbon.config, open it with notepad. That file path for the old game files that you created. Where it says Fortnite game engine, copy it and paste it right here. And instead of a backslash, you're going to want to change this to two forward slashes. And however many backslashes there is, just change it to forward slash and you're good. After that, you can just close it, make sure to save, and then double click the carbonlauncher.exe. Give it a second, and season eight will open. So once you're in the lobby, go back to the file called UUU you put in your desktop, right here, the uuuclient.exe. On the first one, click select, and make sure it's the one 
that says Fortnite client 164 shipping. In the bottom one, go to your desktop and find the cranium.dll. Double click it and then click inject. Give it a second and then you'll be loading in game. When you've loaded in, click F9 on your keyboard to fly or else you'll keep on falling and when you spawn in the chapter 2 map, you'll fall under the ground and die. Open Discord and right here, go to the base coordinates, which is this command right here. Click Control C. To open console, it's bottom of escape, left of one, top of tab. Open it and then Control V, enter. So now it's gonna look a little weird now. All you'll need to do is go back to Discord and the Chapter 2 Battle Royale map is stream map Apollo underscore terrain. Put that in console. Enter. It'll lag for a second. That's normal. And here we are. To start the event, click F7 once. Wait a second and then do it again. And as you can see, the little animation before the event starts is playing just as normally. And if you want to stop flying, uh, you can kind of just like bump into the cube and you'll be walking. The event takes a really long time to actually start. So to start it really fast, just type in demo speed 25 and then quickly put demo speed 1 and just wait till the event starts and have your fingers on enter there we go and if you just want to go back just click just do demo speed negative one if you if you fast forward a little too much as you can see everything's working just as normal by the way i copy the bridge command put it in the console and just double click tilde again so that way it closes and then have the coordinates ready as well. Just don't put them in the console, just have them copied. Now you can enjoy the first part of the event. It works just as normal, the only difference is that you have no guns and the zombies don't spawn in. Sadly, the cinematic for The Rock doesn't play, but that's the only part that doesn't. Click enter now. It's gonna lag for a second. Open console again. Control V, enter. Now you're in here. By the way, you can actually destroy stuff in here. Try not to destroy the floor though, because you'll go falling down. At about here, at this part, I'd copy the water part. Stream map. Control V. Close console. And then copy the coordinates for the water part. About here, I'd paste this in and then put in the coordinates and enter. Do this correctly, and you'll see your character when the map flips. By the way, if you want to go over there and see the island, you can do toggle debug camera. And then camera free cam. Scroll wheel up is to go faster, scroll wheel down is to go slower. If you get close enough, the thing starts to glitch. You can also do those two commands at any point of the event, and if you want to go back to your character, just do toggle debug camera again. Just like that. The chapter 2 map looks kind of weird because it was never supposed to be looked from this angle. Anyway, thanks for watching. If you need any help, I'll try my best helping you guys in the comments below. If you made it this far, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.